Hi all, welcome to this demo. My name is Anuraj. I am an engineering technologist with Dell. In this demo, we are going to integrate the Red Hat OpenShift virtualization with Dell PowerStore Storage Array using the Dell CSM 1.12. Here we have an OpenShift cluster 4.17 with 3 master node and 2 worker node. I already installed the CSM operator on this OpenShift cluster. We can see the operator pod is running successfully in this cluster. We are going to connect the PowerStore storage array with this OpenShift cluster using iSQC. I already completed the iSQC configuration and the multipath configuration on this OpenShift cluster. The CSM resource is not yet created in this cluster. So let's create a new project PowerStore for creating the CSM resource. Before creating CSM resource, let's create the PowerStore config secret. Now the secret is successfully created into this namespace. Let's review the CSM PowerStore manifest file. Now we can apply this manifest file to create the PowerStore CSM. Let's verify the pods. We can see all the pods are running successfully. Now let's verify the CSM resource status. Here we can see the resource is in succeeded state. Now let's review the storage class YAML file. Now apply this yaml file to create the storage class so we can see the storage class is successfully created next we'll review the yaml file for creating the snapshot class now we can apply this yaml file to create the volume snapshot class also we can see the volume snapshot class is successfully created next we can go to the power store console and verify all the worker nodes are successfully registered here now here we can see two of our worker node is successfully registered. Now let's go to the OpenShift console and from the operator hub we can install the Red Hat OpenShift virtualization. So we'll search for the OpenShift virtualization and click on the operator then install. And we'll keep all the configuration default and we'll install the operator. Now the operator is successfully installed. Let's create the hyperconverged custom resource. Here also we'll keep all the configurations default. Then we click the install to create the hyperconverged instance. Now we can wait for the instance to be created. Now the instance is successfully created. We can review all the pods of the OpenShift virtualization is successfully running. Also we can verify the PVCs created from the Dell PowerStore storage array for creating the default boot volumes. Also we can review the storage profile created for the PowerStore storage class here. Next, we can go to the OpenShift virtualization console. From here, we can run a storage checkup on our PowerStore storage array to make sure the PowerStore storage array satisfy all the requirements of the OpenShift virtualization. Now we can start the test and wait for the test to be completed. Now we can see the test is completed successfully. So we can go to the virtual machines, create virtual machine and from template We'll select the default Red Hat Enterprise Linux Nine Virtual Machine. Click on Customize Virtual Machine. From the Disk tab, we can review the disk configuration of the virtual machine. So let's click at the root disk and review the root disk configuration. Here we can see the root disk is provisioned from the PowerStore storage array by using the storage class PowerStore. Now let's create this virtual machine. And let's wait for the virtual machine to be booted successfully. Open the virtual machine console. Now we can list the block devices attached to the virtual machine. Here we can see the root disk of the TGB which is provisioned from the power store. Now we can go to the OpenShift console and from the virtual machine configuration go to storage and we can add a new disk into this virtual machine. So click on add disk, we'll add an empty disk. Configure the disk size as 100 GB. Let's review the other configuration. So the storage class is selected as power store. Then we can create the new disk. Let's go to the console and verify the PVCs are successfully created from the power store. Now we can go back to the virtual machine console. From here we can list the block devices. Here we can see the new disk 100 GB is attached as SDA. So we can create a partition out of this SDA device. Now the partition is successfully created. Let's create a file system on top of this 
partition. Let's mount this file system. We can test this file system by creating a test file. So let's create a test file. Now the file is successfully created. Also we can review the volumes created in the power store console. Now we can go back to the OpenShift console and let's verify the worker node on which the virtual machine is running. Now let's initiate a live migration of the virtual machine from this node to the second worker node. Wait for the live migration to be completed. Now we can see the live migration is successfully completed and we can verify the node on which the virtual machine is running. This concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.